Hello kindergarten, so today we're going to start this three-dimensional building for our neighborhood. So if you look at it, it has height and width, which is 2D, but it has 3D because it has depth, it sticks out, it's wide, it sticks out at us. So this is a three-dimensional paper bag building for our neighborhood. And this is just the traditional house. If you want to do a library or a school or a restaurant, you can do that too. All the buildings pretty much are standard with windows, doors, and roofs, but you could add a little sign or you could add um, something else that makes it unique to a different kind of building, maybe a veterinarian or a doctor or something like that. So you're going to start with a paper bag and the bottom flap is where you need to write your name. You're going to write your name and the day you have art, day A, day B, day C. And so this is going to be your bag. You're going to flip it over and then the bottom, not up here at the top, this is the top where this little U is cut out and where you can open it up. This is the top down here at the bottom where this flap is and where your name is. That's the bottom of the house. And so you're going to add a door to the bottom. And I'm going to have some scrap paper and you can choose whatever color door you'd like to have for your building. So you're going to pick a color for your door. I'm going to pick this uh, purplish magenta color. Cut it the size that you want. I like the width of this, but I think it's maybe a little too tall. And then decorate your door with marker. So add a doorknob, add a window, and then you're going to glue this on. So you're going to flip it around, do a frame of glue, and glue this to the bottom of your bag. Make sure you don't glue it to the top where you can open it up where we have this little curve. And then I'm going to have some white scrap paper that's cut out for windows for you. And you're probably going to need about four on the front. You don't want to do six because the roof really takes up a lot of space and you want these windows to stay close to the door. Now the first thing I want you to think about is what do you want to put in your windows? Do you want to put some curtains in your windows? So then you would draw the curtains hanging or do you want to put somebody in the window looking out? Um, maybe you could put a cat sleeping in the window or maybe your window's empty. If you draw something in your windows like this, you can leave them like this. But if you don't draw anything in a window, I want you to put those breaks in the window, those lines that go across the window so that we know it's a window. So it's up to you. You can draw um, little scenes in the windows or you can do the breaks in the windows. If you draw the scene in the window, you can also do the breaks in the windows. And they're just behind the breaks in the windows. It's up to you. But then you're going to glue these down and I want you to glue them close to the top of your door. Don't leave a big space between the door and your first set of windows. Put them down close to the door so we can see them once we add the roof later. All right, the fronts of, the, of houses and buildings sometimes have um, shutters. Shutters might be nice to add. So if you get a colored piece of paper Make sure it's the height of your window and then draw, draw some skinny or cut some skinny strips. You need two for each window. So I have four windows, so I need eight skinny strips, two for each window. And then you could glue these on just like this next to the window so they look like shutters. Or you could add with marker before you glue them on, you could add some of these horizontal lines going across and then just put a line of glue next to the window and then add the shutters. And don't add them crooked or it'll look like an abandoned house. You want to add them nice and straight. Okay, and now um, you could put window boxes or flowers down here. I think I'm going to do two little trees and I'm going to fold my green paper in half and I'm just going to cut out a triangle for an evergreen tree and glue those down. You could do kind of a bumpy line or a circle. I'm gonna do two little evergreen trees on the bottom. If you wanted to do like, you could fold your paper in half if you wanted to do two bushes and then you could draw a bumpy line like this. And then you could cut these out and glue these on. That's probably a little too big. I should maybe draw my bumpy line this direction. but. You can draw something down here. Um, you could add a little sign. Maybe this is a veterinarian's um, or a restaurant and it's not just a traditional house. So then you could take one of the white papers and cut a little sign out and put that in front. 
So I think maybe I'll make this a veterinarian since I have a cat in the window. So that's a little too long. I'm going to trim that off. I'm going to put vet. Now I glued before I drew, which I don't want you to do. I want you to always draw on the paper first and then glue, and that way it won't ruin my markers. So that's the front of my building. So now I'm going to flip it over and do the back. And the back I'm just going to add some windows. I think I'll add six windows on the back since I don't have a door. And you need to draw in the windows first or do the breaks in the windows. Flap down so that you can get to the bottom. Close together because remember the roof takes up a lot of the top of the paper. So glue them close together and glue them down near the bottom. Whenever you're doing your house or your building today, always leave the top edge kind of blank so that we have room for the roof. Okay, so now that I have the front and the back of my house designed, now I'm ready to do the roof. So you're going to choose a piece of paper for your roof, and you're going to fold it in half, and you're going to draw the shingles on the roof. And draw them nice and big to fill the space. So you're going to draw a big scalloped line across the paper. You don't want to do tiny little scallops because it'll take you forever. You're going to get one piece of newspaper, maybe two and you're going to squeeze and wad them up. And when you wad them up, squeeze your hand tight and make it small. Try to make the newspaper small, because see, once you let go, it kind of spreads out again. So take the newspaper, squeeze tightly, and then you're going to open up your paper sack, and you're going to put those two pieces of newspaper into your paper sack. Then you're going to bring it to me with your roof. So you're going to bring both of these to me with your roof and I'm going to take the top of your paper sack and fold it over. I'm going to take your roof, fold it over there. That's much better. I'm going to take your roof, fold the, new, the paper bag over the top and then I'm going to staple two staples at the top. And there you have your 3D building for your neighborhood. Good job, Kinder.